this battle to save our Earth will be won or lost in our lifetime. Pause. This battle to save our Earth that has been here for billions of years, but Jesus here and Mary, AOC, are going to save the planet. This planet. I will save this planet. You can't even save New York City. Let's get to the douchebag of the year. Bill de Blasio is throwing his Russian hat into the ring. What's it called? Yushanka. A Yushanka. De Blasio, comrade de Blasio, who's hated by everybody, even his black kids. Uh, But that's racist. (laughs) I'm Bill de Blasio, and I'm running for president because it's time we put working people first. Well, that would make you last because you haven't lifted a fucking finger, Jackoff. Working people first. This guy, this guy just irritates me to no end and everybody else. This song was written about him. Uh, the opening shots include de Blasio zipperang in the city in the back of an SUV. His gas guzzling choice of transportation, but he's an environmentalist, this uh, lying two faced fuck. For the 11 mile jaunt from Gracie Mansion to the gym in Park Sl- Let's, uh, good thing he says about New Yorkers is they look the same whether, whether they really pissed off of you or they like you. Let me help you out there. They hate your guts. Nobody's looking at you with that puss on their face going, I really like him. <laughs> no. They hate you, and it shows in your numbers. You're a big uh, science guy, aren't you? Because you're the Democrat Party, and the planet's going to burn up in 11 minutes. Yeah, you're at about 67, what is it, 76% shit rating for people in New York City. But he wants to go on, he wants to take the shit storm to a national level, big bird. Look at him. Me? Communist? Let's, uh, let's show the clip of, let's show the clip of this Mama Luke. I'm a New Yorker. I've known Trump's a bully for a long time. Pause. Not- I've known Trump's a bully for a long time. You're a grown man calling another grown man a bully. Let me help you out, de Blasio. I'm embarrassed that you're Italian, even though I'm more Irish and English. I keep forgetting that 23 and me. <laughs> How about the f- a grown man calling another man a bully? What a big girl you are. And that goes for all adults who use the term bully to refer to other people. Trump's a big bully. He's got the greatest economy in the history of the country who fucking crushed ISIS in five minutes. And uh, he's the big bully. Because I don't agree with him on, 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 you know, he says outlandish mean stuff. Ugh, go ahead. News to me or anyone else here. And I know how to take him on. Cut to when Donald Trump started yeah. separating families. Our message to the federal government is simple. Stop this broken, inhumane policy right now. We Pause. Said the- Excuse me. Do you remember the kids in the cages? Do you remember the pictures that they put up online? And everybody goes, look what Trump's doing. This is inhumane. And the pictures were from when? When Obama was in office? Do you remember that, de Blasio? You lying, motherless fuck, pencil neck. Go ahead. Border ...to help protect those families. When he told us he was going to cut off our security funding, we took him to court and we beat him. When we saw our national government walk away from the Paris Agreement, we doubled down. This battle to save our Earth will be won or lost in our lifetime. Pause. This battle to save our Earth that has been here for billions of years, but Jesus here and Mary, AOC, are going to save the planet that you couldn't break if you try for the next billion years. We have faith on the right that, and I, I said, yeah, there's definitely something going on with the, uh, I go outside and I get tan in three seconds. It used to take all day. There's definitely something going on. But I have faith in science and our scientists and whatever made us the greatest nation on the earth. We'll fix it. Don't act like it's going to end next Thursday. Okay? Nobody's buying it. This planet, I will save this planet. You can't even save New York City. Yes, go ahead. There's no second chance. Don't back down in the face of a bully. Confront him. Take him on. Pause. Boy, boy, somebody beat him up for his lunch money 48 years ago, and he can't let it go. That's the thing about you little nerds that got picked on. You never let it go. And then you get in a place of power like this, 
and it's all you can talk. Let it go. I bullied kids, and I got bullied like most people. I remember this kid, John Dresser. He was a senior, and uh, he busted a fucking uh, payphone <laughs> at the mall. He cracked me over the head with it. I was making fun of his jacket. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he had a he kid had mutton chops. He looked like he was 48 years old. I weighed about 145 pounds. And then in metal shop, so to get him back, a metal shop, we were using a lathe. We were making a cannon. I don't know if you guys did that in metal shop. You turned down into like a military cannon. Well, he left the room, so I put the lathe on reverse and just <laughs> fucked up his, it was like blue smoke coming off it and shit. And, and I had to avoid him for the next year. And, um, but I mean, just, it's such a turnoff. Grown-ups going, he's a bully. You don't hear anybody, you, really, you don't, you don't hear Trump talking, you know. Going, boy, that, uh, that Adam Schiff's a bully. He keeps picking on me. <laughs> no, he handles it like a man. He goes, that guy's a pencil neck, and he's a fucking liar. Okay, back to uh, douchebag de Blasio. As president, I will take on the wealthy. I will take on the big corporations. I will not rest until this government serves working people. As mayor of the largest city in America, I've done just that. De Blasio for president, guys. Donald Trump <laughs> must be stopped. I've beaten him before, and I will do it again. I'm Bill de Blasio, and I'm running for president because it's time we put working people first. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Wages are going up under Trump for the first time in I don't know how many years. He's already doing it, stupid. So if that's your, that you're going to go after him on the economy, there's a good one. Good one. Good plan, Billy. Show the picture of what the New York subway systems look like under Bill de Blasio. Yeah, let's show this clip. We showed it yesterday. This is a guy who's for the big Green New Deal. This is how the change be looking in the morning. This is how change be looking. In the, I love this guy. Working class. That's probably a homeless guy who's disgusted with it. This is change under de Blasio. stupid, And they want us to pay more money and... Look at this. This is crazy, man. No, it isn't. Beloved. You got a liberal this running your city. Crazy, beloved. There's people living in potholes that's so big on fucking Fifth Avenue. <laughs> but uh, good luck, de Blasio. If I'm running against, if he's not going to get any traction, but that's the first thing I'd show. Um, they, they, they hate him. The, <laughs> the libs in New York don't even like him. Uh, he's a bully. Trump is a big bully. He's picking on people. Oh, that's offensive. Stop. Local political experts can't fathom what prompted the mayor to, to throw his yaunka into the ring. <laughs> Whatever the Russian hat is. It's really hard to understand what Lane de Blasio plans to ride. The one without the potholes that doesn't exist. It's really hard to understand what Lane de Blasio plans to ride to the nomination, said uh, David Birdsell, dean of, the, dean of the Marx School of Public and International Affairs. <laughs> Please be the Marx brothers, not Karl Marx, at SUNY's Baruch College. What's more, people just don't like him, polls show. <laughs> de Blasio has the dubious distinction, listen to this, folks, of being the only candidate or potential candidate out of the 23 contenders to earn a negative rating among national Democrats in a March uh, Monmouth University survey. A total of 24% gave him a thumbs down, while just 18% had a favor uh, favorable view of him. At home, the numbers are even worse. Listen to this, guys. A staggering, a staggering 76% of Big Apple voters don't think he should run. Hey, hey there's support. <laughs> Hey guys, when you get done cleaning the semen off your mouse pad, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page and click on the little notification bell. That'll tell you when we go live and when we put clips up and stuff like that. Also, go to nickdip.com and uh, sign up at Patreon. That way you'll get three more shows a week. You can't get enough Nick DiPaolo, am I right? I thank you for your support, okay? See you later, Jackoffs.